Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Okay, everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, this is part two of the uh, the video that we sh showed before um, about the modules, and today we're just going to go deeper into reflashing and what a reflash software is it's all about. As you all know, uh, pretty much most automotive computers these days are reflashable. Um, basically, they're empty and you reflash it and you make them do um, whatever you want depending on the flash, on the, on the software. This is, this is also called the firmware. To briefly recap the, the video before this one, uh, a module, uh, it's different than a, than a regular ECM in that it only controls one or two things, usually one. So a module has a very specific use. An engine control module, on the other hand, it, it's, it controls multiple uh, components, and it's just, it is what it is. You have engine control modules, transmission control modules, body control modules, and so on and so forth. In our previous video, we were explaining, you know, how to use a, an Arduino board, uh, which is a, it, it is a module. It's exactly what it is. It has multiple outputs, but we're just going to use one to control a, a motor. In this particular case, make believe it's a, it's a fan motor, even though it's a small motor, but it's the same deal. And we're also using uh, the driver 100. Uh, this is a unit that we manufactured, and it has to, it, it, what it does is pretty much takes an input, uh, in this case from the, from the uh, Arduino, uh, and, and pretty much controls whatever you, you set it to. As you can see on screen very, very quickly, um, let's just analyze the electronics a little bit. Uh, the green uh, lead uh, coming out of 13 on the Arduino board actually controls the base uh, of, of the major, tra the big transistor, that, that w the output transistor. Now, uh, in between that, there's a whole bunch of circuitry, so we're not really going to go deep into that. We just put a little symbol in there that says chip, just to, uh, to let people know that... Uh, the viewer know that that it's not really just a transistor. There's more to it than that. Anyhow, and then you also have the power and ground uh, connections. Very very straightforward. So with this arrangement, a very tiny pulse coming out of 13 pin 13 uh, feeds the um, triggers the uh, base of the transistor, uh, and the, uh, that in turn turns the transistor on and off uh, for the output. Uh, the the board, the Arduino board by itself, cannot control anything. Uh, because it's, uh, it's not, it doesn't have enough power, enough uh, current. Uh, so the transistor is there just for that. Uh, besides, there's a whole bunch of other circuitry uh, to protect the, the whatever you're controlling. Uh, but anyhow, that's a basic uh, idea. Now on screen, we can pretty much see the actual uh, uh, firmware, the, the programming. Uh, this is what you use to uh, uh, program uh, the Arduino. It's called the Arduino IDE. Um, again, we're just going to go a little deeper into... Um, exactly what we have to do to to tinker with the with the with the software itself which is the firmware that's going to go um, go inside but we program the, the arduino now we can see the basic the basic on control sketch uh, or the programming that's actually going to do the controlling and we're going to explain to it what this means okay so on screen we have two sections sections of uh, the the part one and part two and uh, now all almost any um Arduino program or software, it's uh, divided into two. One is the setup, uh, which is part one, and the other one is the loop, uh, which keeps running on over and over and over and over, on and on. So that's that's the basic explanation for, for this particular software, for almost any software that goes on the Arduino. Now, right away, looking at the close-up for, uh, for the setup part, you would see uh, that uh, the pin mode, it says pin mode, uh, in parentheses, you see LED built in, built in and output so we're going to set that that's pin number 13 so we're going to set pin number 13 as an output and this is a digital pin this particular pin is a digital pin so it's either on or off it's not it doesn't it doesn't fluctuate it's not an analog pin in other words it doesn't have a, a sine wave output uh, as you would with with say a crank sensor or cam sensor of the magnetic type so again easy the setup pretty much sets the output pin uh, in this case, the LED uh, that says built-in is that corresponds to pin number 13. Uh, we could have just go ahead and put a 13 in there, but just just to make it uh, more readable, uh, we we did it like this. Then in blue, uh, you see the loop part of it, and if you look at it very carefully, it pretty much says um, it says digital right, 
LED built in. Um, that's referring to pin number 13, and it says high. Then a little bit further down, it says delay 1000. This you can. This is what gives you the delay. And then if you keep going down, re, uh, digital right again, LED built in. That's pin number 13, low, uh, comma low, and then another delay. And this is going to keep repeating. So pretty much is self-explanatory. And uh, right next to it, there's a comment that I put in there. It says turn the motor on. Uh, right next to the digital right, turn the motor on. High um, is the trigger, uh, the, the trigger output f that goes to the trans the base of that transistor that you saw before. Uh, there's a delay, so wait on. It turns it on. It waits uh, 1,000. By the way, it's um, that's pretty much one. Um, it's a number of milliseconds. Uh, but anyhow, uh, and then so another you know uh, LED built in low that turns the motor off, and then there's another delay. And then it keeps repeating itself. So that's why it's called a loop. Uh, and keeps going on and on and on. This is exactly the same mechanism that's used to control transistors, I mean, um, uh, injectors, uh, solenoids, shift solenoids for transmissions, and you name it. Uh, this, this is a, a def what goes in the, in the flash. This is the, the actual reflashing uh, of modules. And this is exactly what we're doing here. In, in this case, we're using an Arduino board to reflash um, um, th this particular software into it to control the motor, but it doesn't make any difference. It's just the same principle, uh, regardless of what w whether you're doing it to an ECM or to an Arduino. Then next, we're going to tweak the uh, the delay. Those delay numbers that says a thousand, we're going to change it to a hundred, and you're going to see how the the motor turns on and off uh, a lot faster than before. And that's this is pretty much this is uh, this is exactly how, for example, uh, uh, the um, the shift solenoids for, that comes to mind, or it could be anything. It could be the, the fuel pump module, uh, how it's turned on and off. Uh, in the, the particular case, it, it's it's duty cycles, which is an on and off pulse, you know, and that's how it's actually done, uh, depending on on the reaction of of this mod, this particular module, the Arduino. We can make it to react to other things. We're going to see that in other videos in the future. In other words, we can make it react to um, a specific uh, instance for case in point of uh, the uh, engine temperature and we can pretty much uh, uh, tell it you know in software like we're, like we're doing right now uh, when you re uh, when the engine reaches uh, X amount say 200 degrees turn the the fan on full uh, and in th in which case we're gonna de you know we'll mess around with the delay uh, and make it turn on faster to make it to make the uh, the, the motor uh, stay on longer uh, or or less depends. So, so if the temperature goes down, uh, then we tweak it so that it reacts to to a, to a lower temperature. It's, it's pretty. It's not easy, but it's f the, the concept is pretty simple. Well, once again, this has been um, another video uh, showing you going a um, uh, little deeper into um, um, uh, into modules and, and the reflash of software that goes into these uh, components. So um, again. Uh, thanks for being with us and, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.